welcome to Koi Chronicles. Now in this chronicle, just carrying on from the kamikaze fish that I tried to net last time. I'm just continuing to look into the water parameters just that little bit more. I'm going to show you some footage with me checking for chlorine with some tablets and show you some footage with me using my testing kit and results regarding KH. Filter house is a little bit messy, got stuff out all over the place. So we'll cut into the video now of me testing water, you know, tested tap water, tested the vat water, tested the main pond water, tested water coming out of the, the chlorinator out the back of there. So I'll drop that footage in now and I'll catch you after that. So straight away I can see the tap water changing to a pink colour. Can't see any changes on the main pond, the vat, or through the freeze stage, which is good news at the moment. But I'll let these tablets take the time to dissolve and we'll have a look and get back to these shortly. So it's been a few moments now and all the tablets have dissolved but we're looking good and it's showing a pink colour in the tap water and it's very slight at that as well. So I've just spun you around now so as you can see the tap water is pink it's got a pink tinge to it only slight the main pond it's still clear, the vat water's still clear and I was going to change my cartridges on my three stage however the colour in that is literally no colour in it so I'm pretty sure it's uh, still filtering correctly. I might look into my KH now Ultimately, thanks for your comments regarding the last video suggesting that it could be chlorine but I've only got a problem in my tap water which is correct and there's nothing in the main pond there's no colour, pink colour in the vat water and there's no pink colour coming through the three stage So we're going to be going with the KH test now and it's one drop for 17.8 part per million. Ideally, once I start dropping these in, the water will turn blue and it's how many drops it takes to change the water from blue to yellow. Ideally, it's six drops. So that pretty much turned yellow straight away. It's only two drops in there and it just went yellow. So I've seriously got a problem with my KH. 
So it reads here, if the first drop should turn the sample yellow, then the KH value is below 1dH. This is extremely dangerous for pond fish. So I need to get on the internet now, I'll do a bit of research and get some uh, KH buffer, I believe, and uh, get it mixed in the pond and get my KH levels where they should be. We're going to be testing the GH now, so it's two drops of this, and that should turn the water pink or purple. And now we keep adding the drops, and just bottle number B, until the water turns blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, still a bit of pink in the bottom. Seven. So it's seven, and again, one drop equals 17.8. So ideally, it should take eight drops. That took seven drops, so I'm probably about 100 and 25, something like that. parts per million so I can live with the GH so I've clearly got some trouble with the KH being really loud need to immediate react on this now I've only got bicarbonated soda in the property at the moment so that's what I'm going to use To bring the levels up. Maybe that's why I'm starting to get got a little bit of a sore on in there. Or there should I say. Just on the top. So let's crack on and get some bicarbonated soda into the pump. Get it lifted. So at the moment I've only got some bicarbonate of soda available. Uh, just ordered a product online and that should come in a couple of days. Uh, and that should serve me a lot better. However I've got this at the minute and I'm going to put it in, I'm just going to pour it straight into the middle centre part there on the easy part, I'm not messing about, I've got a fish to pick up a little bit later as well. So it's pretty much 25 grams of bicarbonated soda per 1000 gallons, 
so literally 7 14 21 I'm going to put a bit of that in and then uh, what was left I'm just going to put in the vat and then see how I go for now Dash. I've got a date with a fish. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave any comments in the section below. Take care and bye for now.